Sometimes all the tree coverage doesn't allow me to really enjoy a beautiful sunrise like this, but man, is that gorgeous. Good morning. For those of you who've been wondering where Sam has been, I haven't been letting him go with me because it's been so hot lately and I've been doing a lot of walks at night. He just has his fur is too thick for this hot Florida sun. But uh, man, it was a nice cool morning this morning after it rained last night. So I thought after I got my first two miles in, I gotta go pick up Sam so he can say hi to everyone. Say hi, Sam. <laughs> I gotta do something about this new stick I got here. It's not as good as the last one I had. I thought it was a better option, but it's a little too flimsy. It's the hard part about doing this channel is I gotta keep investing money and stuff to make it go. So I appreciate you guys watching because what little YouTube does give me helps to cover some of these expenses. I don't do this for the money. That's why I got a new job again. I do this and I started doing this for one reason and one reason only. And that was to hopefully encourage others to uh, take up the mantle and start doing a little bit of exercise or actually to take up the mantle and start eating right because I knew from my experience on Atkins that I was gonna have a good experience on carnivore. I just didn't know it was gonna be this good. Uh, my original intent was only to release one video and you know, one of the things that inspired me to do that, aside from trying to work with my son on his plans to broadcast his games on YouTube, which is what got me into YouTube to begin with, I wanted to make sure he wasn't getting into something he shouldn't be doing, or if he was going to do it, that he'd do it the right way. For the most part, he's lost interest in it because he sees that it's a lot more work than he thought it was. It's been an encouragement to me to see how many of you have had so many good results to come from this. And after this video, I plan to go back to the house, get my shower and start putting together some actual footage of me talking about some of your success stories. Meanwhile, I do want to talk about another thing that motivated me to do what I'm doing and not only to do it, but to talk about it. And I get a lot of comments that are very generous about the wisdom they gain or that they hear from me. But I gotta say, I can't take credit for that with the exception of seeking it because it's others that shared the wisdom with me, whether it was the pastors that I studied under for most of my life or uh, teachers that I had in different places in my life. Thankfully, some scattered throughout high school and college, uh, but also a modern day teacher who has started to broadcast to us all. And I'm talking about Jordan B. Peterson. And if you haven't checked out his YouTube page yet, you should do it because he is saying the things that we all think and know need to be said, but he's articulating them in a way that I could have never been able to articulate. One of the things that frustrates me to no end is how many people recognize what a heck of a mess we're in and what the problems are and where the problems are but so many people are afraid to speak up because it's gonna cost them their job or cost them uh, position or friends or family. But you know what? It's gonna cost you those things anyway at some point. If we don't start speaking up, then we're gonna lose the civilization that we have. This wonderful Judeo-Christian ethic that the Western civilization has developed but is being destroyed and has been under attack for many years but never before like it is now. Well, the last few videos that Jordan has released that were new videos, he's been uh, reclipping a lot of his old stuff lately too, which is great because you don't have to click on a two hour video to get some of the tidbits in there. Sometimes it's just too much to even click on one when it says an hour and 48 minutes on it or something like that. But uh, like a few videos, I'll show some clips here to show where he is really hitting the nail on the head in my opinion and I want to be another voice echoing what he's saying I wish I could say him as our as well articulated as he does but you know what as long as he's there I'll let him do what he does and I'll do what I do and that's to keep reminding you about eating right and uh, getting your exercise and working on getting your mind and body in the right sink to where you're healthy and you can face the world and you can do the things that need to be done for you and your family 
and by extension your community i don't care what your background was what you did before or the way you articulate things now you can use your voice you can take control of your life you can be a part of what makes things better in this world so we don't have to all sit around talking about what the problems are we can start being a part of the solution and getting in shape has been a big part of that for me i knocked out a 120 squats today i went without my weight pack so i thought well i'm going to go ahead and up the reps if i'm going to reduce the weight uh i'll be honest with you i just like the way this shirt looked <laughs> i didn't want to wear that that uh explosive looking pack that i have <laughs> it looks like i'm strapping on explosives when i wear that thing and uh i passed a older couple walking their dog this morning if i'd have been wearing that they might have been a little bit oh what's he doing <laughs> uh but anyway that's neither here nor there the point is is that i got the squats out i got the walk in and getting it in early oh man that is so nice to be able to do i have uh let starting work i've let starting work become a bit of an excuse an excuse to uh, wait to do it later in the day and occasionally that leads me to miss my workout whether it's because i get rained out or once in a while i just don't have the energy by the end of the day for whatever reason so one of the things i've been doing this month Aside from supplementing with iodine, is I started to supplement with Relite, which is a Redmond product. Relite is an electrolyte mix, and I'll show you the package here so you can see what all you get in it, because I can't remember while I'm out here walking. But, you know, I've been told by many people that I need some potassium and magnesium, even though my numbers and my blood work look good, I wanted to see how my body would react to adding some potassium and magnesium. So I've been having one of these relights every morning to start my day, which by the way is a great way to start your day. Any type of electrolyte mix, whether it's a, a salt soda like I used to drink or some water with uh, Sole water mixed in or an electrolyte mix like this. It's, a, it's just a great way to get your morning going, to get your mind going, get your exercise in, come back, have some breakfast, and then you can really attack what you gotta do the rest of the day. I would encourage you to sit down and check out some of the videos that Jordan's released lately. I'd love to hear your comments on them because I think he is saying things that the majority of people, especially in the United States, but also in places around the world, are thinking and haven't said. Wanted somebody to say, but haven't seen anybody say them. Well, here's somebody saying them now. And I'm going to continue to say what I'm saying because I believe that if we don't speak up for what's right in this world, we're gonna lose what's good in this world. And there ain't much, so let's not lose it. Screw it, get up and do it. Make taking control of your health and your mind and your body and your life something that is more important than seeking the pleasure of the escape of stimulants and watching uh, something entertaining on television to pass the time, which I'm guilty of. It's so much better to take an active role in what's gonna make you, your family, and your community better, and no better time than now. With all the political chaos and the economic chaos, we need to be prepared. I'm afraid some tough times are still coming, but there is a strong possibility that we can turn the tide on this if we all start doing what we need to be doing. That's all I got for today. I'll see you next time. If we pay extra, could we maybe get some grease or fat? All that's necessary for evil to triumph is for good men to do nothing. <laughs>